hello Facebook, YouTube. All right. I hope you can. Oh man, this message. Woo. <laughs> well, the topic of this message, I did. I remember. I know I did something about. I used the idea of this message before on another uh, message. I hope you check it out, Matt Johnson Reality. Um, called uh, uh, Rivers and Dams, something like that. But I'm finna use the river again. But the topic of this message is talking about the reality of uh, rivers and lakes. Rivers and lakes. Now, this message, wow. Um, now, understand that I hope when you look through the Bible like I did, you know, you will hear, you know, this, like, you, you hear this saying that peace that flows like a river. Yeah, peace, peace that flows like a river. And, of course, well, I really hardly hear the word lakes, a lake in the Bible. I think the lake of fire, you know. And it's funny that it's called a lake of fire. Hmm, concerning that God gave me this revelation about lakes that I'm going to show you that I, that's the only uh, water, well, kind of description of a lake I found in the Bible. Maybe there is a lake somewhere. But anyway, um, and the thing is, here's the thing. Now, God, we are supposed to be rivers, of course. Uh, rivers flowing. Rivers flowing. Now, I'm going to describe a river and lakes to you, the difference between these water structures. Now, a uh, river, of course, like I said, is flowing. But a lake is something that's just sitting there. That's just sitting there. That's just stagnant. Now, the ideas I learned about, of course, the lake. Let me kind of like talk about the lake more a little bit. Uh, the lake is something that, it, of course, you know, stagnant. But you know when water becomes stagnant, it underneath the uh, water that it carries it de or develops and carries a lot of bacteria or a lot of organisms inside of the lake because it's sitting there. And it's sitting there because it's, of course, stagnant. It's not moving. And what happens when you're stagnant and not moving, things can sit or more likely chemicals can sit in it and, you know, will pollute the lake. That's why it's not safe to drink uh, or drink in a lake, drink lake water. Certain lakes are not safe to drink their water because it's sat there and it's stagnant to whatever chemicals that probably put in there that it will sit there and it will become in the water. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, the, the thing is, and, 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 and it, it, it will, it will pour, and of course it will more likely poison you than anything. Now, of course the river, you know, it's a flowing river and the flowing river, they says, fact that a flowing river is better to drink out of because it's flowing, and because it's flowing, the chemicals or whatever bacteria that is in the water can't, you know, can't sit in it because it keeps flowing and flowing and flowing. And the thing is, it's important to, of course, as you see in that island, and well, when, sorry, I'm trying to go to, trying to slow down. Uh, when the flowing river flows, of course, it's safe to drink out, and it can purify you. You know what I'm saying? It can purify you, and it it is 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 it can flow life through you instead of poison you. It can purify you. That's what I want to show you that. But also in rivers and lakes, that you know that a lot of 
animals, certain particular animals will, you know, uh, you will find in lakes. You know, you'll find a more animals in a lake than in a river. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why you will find more animals in a lake than a river, because of course of the flowing force of a river, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's tough for that animal to like dwell there, dwell there. You know what I'm saying? You'll find a lot of fishes, you know, but certain other kind of fishes and stuff like that, it's, you know, you, you might find, you will find fishes that can handle the flow. Only flowing fishes can watch it dwell in a river flowing. You know what I'm saying? Only flowing fishes and fishes that can handle the flow. That's what I want you to get. Fishes that can handle the flow. But in lakes, any fish, any, you know, kind of other creatures and stuff like that, alligators or whatever and stuff, animal can dwell in it because it's just sitting there. You know what I'm saying? You don't have no resistance. There's no resistance for it to deal with to uh, dwell there. So they're going to dwell there. Now, the ideal of these animals I want to use <laughs> about, you know, when you become a flowing river, only certain people that understand that the flow of, now it says that peace that flows in the river. Now, peace, of course, of, you know, is describes God, the peace of God that passeth all understanding. You know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. That that is a flowing force. That in that flowing force, only people that can handle the flowing force you will find, you know, uh, 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 dwelling with you, more likely hanging out with you. You will attract people that got you attract godly people. You know what I'm saying? When you have that flowing force inside you, people that will flow with the force. Of course, the fishes, you know, represent the people. You know what I'm saying? You attract people that want to flow in life, that want to go somewhere, do things, that want to accomplish goals, accomplish dreams, accomplish things that are, you know, difficult, impossible, but they have the driven, you know, desire to do that. You will attract that kind of people. But, in the lake, you will get Raleigh, Charlie, anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because you're stagnant, whatever. You'll get whatever in your lake. And here's the thing about I find out. Now I'm finna describe, you know, lake as a person. You know, I can see lake people. People, you know, that just let anything, let anybody in the, inside their life. And of course, uh, water represents you know, life, and they let anybody in their life, and anybody can come in their life, and they wonder why they're letting anybody in their life, you know, come in there, and they resonate in their life, and they complain about the people that resonate in their life that's really not doing nothing, but watch this, you know, these, you know, uh, animals, they're just occupying space, mm. Woo. They're just sitting there to occupy space and eat up whatever, you know, life source up in there and just, to, but just occupy space and really not trying to get you to flow anywhere. You know, it, there's no flow in the lake. There's waves in the lake. There's some waves in the lake, but there's no flow in the lake. Ooh, that's powerful. But um, thing is, you are, but guess what? You think it's those people's fault that they're coming in your life. You blame people, bad people, on why your life is not going good. But what if I told you uh, it's not their fault? No, you develop a lake inside you. You know what I'm saying? You develop a lake inside you in life that you did not, you know, uh, that you created this lake by how much negative, of course, negativity, <laughs> yeah, how much sin in your life that, you know, you develop a lake in your life 
You know what I'm saying? You probably had a river. You know, you had a flowing river. But God showed me this. This is quite interesting. You know, you had a flowing river, but all of a sudden something happened in your life that, you know, um, you know, that stopped the flow of life. Stop flowing in life. And all of a sudden in life, you know what I'm saying? You know, it rains and stuff. It rains and, and stuff. Because that flow stopped. When the flow stopped, you your water sat there. And when it sat there, if you know about the Lake Superior, you know what I'm saying? And the, the well, the Great Lakes and and there that glaciers, you know, got in that place, uh, uh and, 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 and sat there in the water pressure press the wideness of those lakes. You know what I'm saying? The water pressure sat there and pressed the wideness of those lakes. And you and now you you because your flow sat there, you know what I'm saying? It sat there and now you stop doing nothing because you allow somebody or something in your life, you know what I'm saying, to stop the flow of you living life. All of a sudden you created a lake inside of you. You know what I'm saying? And people created lakes, you know, they because somebody, like I said, something hurt them in the past, something stopped the flow of their life, of them wanting to accomplish and achieve dreams and goals in their life. And now, bam, it stopped, that flow stopped, and water start resonating in there. And glaciers, you know, somebody did you cold mm, in a cold glacier, Found the presence inside you because you got done cold and sat there, impressed you, and made you become a lake. But and people, lie, but here's the system of it, of the ideal about it. You allowed, you allowed, and pressed it. Now animals, those animals coming in the lake, they're gonna come in their lake because a lake is there. That's why they're gonna come in it because a lake is there. And no flow is there. No flow is there. But you need to pray and ask God, Lord, make me a flowing river. You need to start to, of course, start hearing God's word and start, you know, start establishing that flow back in there. That's what I love about what David, you know, uh, uh, his Psalms, you know, he he he, he says, you know, uh, and uh, he, he said, uh, that you know about the um Psalms, you know Psalms, you know he he talks about the um uh the restore the joy of my just, just sorry guys sorry guys restore the restore the you know of my soul restore the joy of my soul you know restore it and sorry Psalms fifty one. Restore the sal salvation of my soul. The salvation, the flow of my soul. Restore the flow, more likely. Y'all forgive me. It's just kind of things. And the thing is, uh, that's what happens. You know, and, and that restore the joy of my soul. And what happens is, he's talking about get the flow back. Get the flow back. Get the flow back. So I can go back and become in this river and be that river that only have the certain right fishes flowing through me that the fishes will flow through me that I can start becoming living life and life more abundantly you know through Jesus Christ that we can get that flowing river back flowing and only through Jesus Christ that river can be flowing and that's what the message and that's how you can come back to the river and and Leave that late life alone. You know what I'm saying? Start being. And see, here's the idea. When you become a river, only people that will want to flow with you will flow with you. But in the lake, you will get whatever, you know, in your life. So that's the topic of the message. I hope you understand this message. And I hope you pray that you become a river and stop being a lake and letting people in your life that will take advantage of you and whatever. That's the message. To God be glory and for our Jesus. Amen.